Why have numbers? Today, we find numbers everywhere. We use them not only to count, but to make cars and computers too. We first notice numbers when we are about one year old. We know if we have only two of our four toys to play with. Using your fingers. But how did people discover numbers? From the beginning, people probably used their fingers to show numbers. But there are only five fingers on each hand. What happens if you want to say that you are eleven years old? Who discovered the first numbers? People needed to write numbers down so they could remember them. The Ishango bone was found in Africa and is around twenty-two thousand years old. It has groups of marks on it. Each group has the same number of marks, so the people who made the bone were counting in units. People in Sumeria and Egypt needed to know how many farm animals they had. They also needed to remember how much money others borrowed from them. The easiest way to write the number one is probably to draw something like a finger. This is what the Egyptians did. The Egyptian number one is represented by I. Their number two is represented by I I. When they got to five, they wrote three marks and then two marks under them, so it was easy to read. Their ten looked a bit like an N. Roman numbers. The Romans changed the Egyptian system. When they got to five, instead of writing it with five marks, they wrote it like this: V. Can you guess why? The Romans did not want to use too many marks. We see Roman numerals often, even today. Can you find out how to write nine? How about six hundred? The Indian system. The Roman system was used in Europe for a long time until Europeans discovered the Indian system. The people of India discovered the system we use today. They realized that it was easier if every number had its own symbol, so you can write numbers in a list like this. The discovery of the number zero was probably made by an Indian. Zero makes it very easy to write out large numbers like one million. It also makes math easier. How do we count using the Hindi system? We need to start with the first number on the right, which is the ones place. The second to the right is the tens place. The third is the hundreds, and so on. So we get three hundred plus fifty plus one equals three hundred fifty-one. An Asian counting system. In East Asia, the abacus is still used on a daily basis. Some people are faster with it than with a digital calculator. With an abacus, we count with two rows of numbers. With ones on the right, tens on the left, hundreds on the next left, and so on. The bottom numbers are one to five, and the top numbers are multiples of five. Nature's numbers. Nature has its own numbers too. A common number in nature is one point six one eight. It is called the golden ratio. A long time ago, people realized that the dimensions of many objects in nature are about one to one point six one eight. The first dimension is one, and the next is one point six one eight times that. In nature, the golden ratio appears in many things, like flowers and shells. 
we use the golden ratio in art, buildings, and even music. In fact, we find it everywhere. We find it in everything we think is well-designed or beautiful. Computers and Numbers Computers count differently. They count in binary numbers, ones and zeros. The sequence for four-bit code is 0000, 0001, 0010, 0011, 0100, 0101, etc. Most computers now use 8 bits and can represent 256 values. Animals and Numbers Some animals can count too. Birds notice if they have four eggs and you take away one of them. We often think only humans can count, but maybe animals have discovered the magic of numbers too. <laughs>